Hey guys, I'm Wench Fairy, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition! Last time, Harry, in the mansion on the hill up there, sent us on a mission to go find where the red seeds grow. Surprise, surprise, they grow with the creepy red trees in the graveyard. So now we have to bring him back the seeds. I did all that driving off camera. It did not take me four minutes. I don't know what you're talking about. Lots of driving. Here we are, back in Harry's mansion. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome you to come You know we went directly inside. to the graveyard and came right back, right? Finally. Maybe if you didn't live in the middle of nowhere. I was going to go drop off the letter from Olivia to Nick, but it was in the opposite direction. So I figured plot's more important. I'm sure we'll have more chance to drive around randomly in a bit. We're going to save, even though it costs us a dollar to save at this man's house. Just because you never know what this game is going to do. Here we are, back in the weird round room. I hope I don't have to do the umbrella puzzle again. As silly as that was, I'd rather not. Mr. Francis York no, Morgan, Morgan, please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume. For a minute there, I was very concerned that the piano was gone. But then it came back and everything was fine. Let's yes. talk to Michael. Yes. Okay. So it's the same thing he said last time. You can eat all our stuff, but you're not allowed to leave. We're locking you in until you talk to Mr. Stewart. Oh no, another umbrella puzzle. 14, 23, 26. 14, 20, you know what? Let's write that down. I just so happen to have notepad and paper right here. 14, 23, 26. Okay. That's not the way we're going. It's locked. Okay. Swear to God, if we need umbrellas again. Oh, let's go in here. What? What? Are there three statues? Okay. Which side does it start from? Do you see what's happening here? I know I keep flipping the mouse around. These guys are the tens. Over there is the ones. So like this one should be 14. I think because he's the top row, he should be 14. <laughs> This isn't good for our little... Oh my god, we can only push it one block at a time? Oh, this is gonna take forever. We can only push it one section at a time. If this isn't the puzzle, I'll be upset. Oh wait, you know what we should do? Once he stops pushing. No, okay. This one's gonna be 14. Keep going. One more. Go. 
Green? Yes, okay, good. We've sussed it. This is going to be 23. Go. Go. Push. Sometimes it doesn't want to push. And 26. Is 6 the last row? Yes. Go! And then up to two. It kind of takes over once you get in the right spot, so. Like, I'm doing this. But once it hits there, I don't have to let go or anything. The cutscene happens. See, right away that happens. They don't even look symmetrical or pretty or anything. If I was going to all that trouble, I'd make them symmetrical at the very least. I know we're supposed to go the other way, but I need to know. It's just a rotunda. Oh. Alright. I bet you he's in here. And we could have got to this room both ways. Oh. Nope! Agent Honor! No clothes for me. But a mirror. Looking fancy. It's a weird room. It's like a glorified closet. Alright, back the way we came. We're probably going to have to change clothes soon. Remind me... Oh, there's a door there. What? Oh, this is the door we came in. I was like, seal the curse! Let's go! No, it's the door we came in. This is the way we're supposed to be going. Oh, that's a way outside apparently, because it's locked. Probably shouldn't try to... York, sometimes you have no sense of adventure. Let's get on with the plot then and go see Mr. Stewart. Oh, I like his carpet. Oh. This is pretty. Guess we shouldn't be surprised that Michael got here before us. Harry, turns out what you said was true, and I'd like to hear more. Oh my god! It's happening! York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. I feel like this is actual, like, and shit's going down here. And you've deeply involved with the murders in this town. Well, don't That's laugh right. like that. I want you to be our friend. York, you must be younger than you look. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. Uh-oh. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. 
Uh oh. Let me tell you a story. Um, okay. Fifty years ago, when the war was over, just about when the communist red started to become a rising threat, our town constructed a huge clock tower. Then, soon afterwards... Everybody died. <laughs> See, I know. <laughs> The legend of the raincoat killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. York, you... <sighs> the FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York. Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. The raincoat killer is also real. Why does his voice keep going from regular to computery and this back? This murder case was never made public. In fact, one could say that it was completely erased from history. Except Tell you're as old as balls. Who you think would be able to do something like that? You? Not the your to you. Very good. A model student. Uh oh. But if there are no records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Oh boy. Unless. Good question. York. Oh god, no! Why is there gonna be shooting? Is he the raincoat killer? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk no! No! Let's we'll talk about it now! What we need to talk about is your raincoat killer. Yeah, our raincoat killer. The new raincoat killer, if you will. The new raincoat killer. Yes, let's call him that. After all, he's not the real one. What you want to know more about? Oh my god, he's so much like an old person. Between 10 and 20 years. Just rambling. I noticed that these rats. Forest case in. No, it's not Forest case in. And someone else did too. The human imagination can lead to tragedy sometimes. Yeah, I, I feel you, York. Someone What? This new fabricated legend was passed on from one to the next. I, they need to pull away from the shot because I can't not look at the low res water. Like a rumor. Some may have actually taken the seeds to try them out. To prove the legend that is. York, the red seeds you have found from those other murders, they all came from this town together with that one evil room. How is that even a People thing? On the other side of the planet may have heard of it by now. Well, if they have the internet. And no seeds might be growing in different parts of the world. So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. But there's no evidence to support that story. The dog None just made a noise and it scared the crap out of me. The murders ever mentioned anything like that. It's your job. Your role and duty to look into that, York. Now, the game must go on. Why? You know I said that the incident 50 years ago was totally erased. Uh-huh. See, I'm glad we didn't go to the police station and drop off that letter to Nick, because we had to go there anyway. I bet, no. 
Never mind. I was say I bet you he was a sheriff back then. But we know he found a logging company. We know his backstory, kind of. Oh. It's the end of a section. All right. Thank you for saving. Red load screen. I'm always afraid when the game does its own thing. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's going to be a red load screen. Oh, something's going to happen, though. from a case that happened 50 years ago. Let's play along with Purple sky. Purple moment, sky. Shall we? Purple sky. Zach, that means we need to head for the sheriff's department. But I hear birds. Maybe it's just because it's getting dark. But why would I do that? So... We need to get out of here. And go past the milk barn. This is, this is a long drive. So yet again, I'm going to make a cut here. And I will see you when we get closer to the police station. Unless York says anything interesting in the middle, then I'll splice it back in. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Okay, we're back. As you can see, it started to rain. I don't want to do races. I know we've not done any. Uh, so it's kind of unfair of me to judge something we've not done. But dudes, you see the driving in this game. It's terrible. I mean, it's... Uh, uh, you do shit like that. But... Yeah. I'm not racing. In fact, I'm getting out of this car in the middle of the road. I'm gonna save. Because who knows what's gonna happen to the police station. It's dark. It's raining. Anything could happen. Do, 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 do. I like that you get a dollar bonus for saving. Alright, here we are. Like we've never been before. Can there really be documents here that the FBI doesn't even have? What do you think, Zach? That? I think it's entirely likely. Because I'm sure they have a lot of documents that the FBI doesn't give a shit about. Hmm. I wonder if it'll let us drop the letter off to Nick first. Nope. York! I told you! That's nothing more than local folklore. Look at Emily's sad said face. That he was there. The raincoat killer is a phantom, made up to scare children long ago. I can't believe you fell for that from Harry, of all people. I agree with George. Harry likes to play with people, play with their minds, too. George, hmm. Emily. Of course, I don't believe. I like that painting on the wall. This says sheriff, you and it's a picture of a tree with some people. Try to confirm that he's wrong, will you? <laughs> well then, can you look for the files by yourself? Sure. I'm still looking for Thomas. Very well. Emily, open the filing room for him. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Duh. Apparently we're not going to be able to bring Nick the things first. What? They're here too, Zach. This might mean we're getting warmer to what we need. Uh... <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm surprised, and I have to shoot. I can't move and shoot. Great. Nice shot. Bullseye. Bullseye. It takes so many shots to kill them, though. Why didn't that hit? 
Oh, because it's super short range. Oh, I hope Thomas isn't down here somewhere. Don't care. Gonna happen anyway. Okay, good. I thought they might be coming out of the ground behind us, but they're not. Oh, I don't like this. And this does way less damage. But I'm all about the spam shooting. You can just hold down the button and go. Blech. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like that. I don't like... Oh. Oh, we have to find clues. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, the rainbow no killer's noise. down here. They're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Can we leave? Yes. Should we? Probably not. What? Nothing there. We're gonna do the same thing we did in the art gallery. Open everything that doesn't have red sparkles. <laughs> and be ready to shoot everything. My fingers are still on the- sh oh, no! Why can't I shoot him? Why can't I shoot him? <laughs> oh man, I panicked so hard there. Now we know bad guys. I bet you the red sparkle one's got the goddamned raincoat killer in it. I don't like. Oh, are we gonna get a 357 Magnum at some point? We don't have that yet. No, oh, let's open this stupid red sparkle one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's all hacked up. The space here looks too conspicuous. Someone removed something. I don't understand. Removed what? I'm ready to shoot. By the space, he means the empty gap in the drawer he didn't open. I understand. Well, that was our first clue. I don't want to go through this door. I don't want to shoot things. Oh. Hallelujah. Holy Jesus. <laughs> I was just gonna say, did I mention that I'm home alone? And it's nighttime? 
Okay, let's do all of the things first. Our suit is looking a bit dirty. We're gonna wear the crimson suit for now. Yes. And we're gonna send this to be cleaned. It's not gonna tell us how long it takes. Yeah, because we're in the crazy netherworld. Let's look at the guns. Oh, how much of this can we take out? Um, I can take out like the first aid kit. How about the coffee? No. How about the stabilizer? No. Okay. Can we shop? Oh, there's the 357. Attack very high, huh? Does it really cost seven thousand dollars? Don't care. Buying it. Oh, I can't hold any more anything, it said. I want to put stuff away then. Or you know what? Let's use some stuff. Oh, look, our hunger is really low. We're getting really low. We only have things for a small amount of hunger. Let's eat a donut. And is there anything else we have one of? This can of pickles. We're also going to have something else we have one of. No, but we should have some coffee anyway to recover some of our tiredness. And you know what I think I'll put away? The fishing stuff. Put a weapon away. I'm loath to do that because there's infinite bullets. Oh, guys, I don't know. We're gonna put this away. Okay, so apparently we have to carry some of the bullets with us. We're gonna buy this 357. Oh, that hurt the pocketbook. So, you know all that money we've been stockpiling? Yeah. Does it really only hold six shots? Yes. I bet you it shoots faster than the other thing, though. The shotgun. Alright, we're gonna save here. And I'm going to leave this one here for now. I don't really know where we're supposed to go next anyway. So we'll leave this one here and then we'll explore further next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Wench Fairy. This is Deadly Premonition. And we'll see you next time.